Amanda Byrne and today we are introducing you to our new additions of dots, Leah, Ollie and Guy and today I'm going to show you how to encapsulate them in acrylic. Hope you enjoy! Right, so today some very exciting news, we've got some new addition dots and we've got Leah, which is this gorgeous purpley blue and gold one. Then we have Ollie, which is one of my favourites, which is an orangey with a bit of blue in. And we have Guy, which is green, purple and orange. So today I want to do a few designs using these. Stay tuned. Very careful not to touch any of the skin, just on the nail. And let that dry. Right, now that nail's all prepped, we're ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a thin layer of clear on the nail. So when you come to do the rebalance of the nail, you've always got to file back to. And we're just going to extend this nail using clear as well but very very thinly because don't forget we're going to be putting some dots and glitter on this nail and we do not want it bulky and thick. So just on the free edge. that and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let that set a little and then I'm just going to go in and pinch that nail before we apply the glitter. I'm just testing the acrylic just to see when it's ready to pinch. When it starts to get a little bit warm just go in and pinch that nail. We pinch the nail to give the nice C curve and to also make the nail nice and thin down the sides because nobody wants thick wide nails. There we go, I'm quite happy with that now. I'm just going to go in with a bit of Mrs. Natural down here. Just to give the nail a little bit of a bit of a pink colour near the cuticle. Not that one because it's a bit wet. Place that bead right at the cuticle and then get your brush behind it, pat it out. Drag it down. 
So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to go in with Grayson. And I'm going to dip my brush into Mrs. Clear and then into the Grayson glitter. And just apply that. Now, while that's still wet, then now you can just go in with your wet acrylic brush and dip it into the glitter and pat it on that. Rather than keep picking up the clear acrylic because you will end up making the nail too thick. That's that. Now we're going to go in with Guy, one of the new glitter dots. Now what I like to do, makes it a little bit easier picking them up with the with your brush. I like to decant a few onto my kitchen towel there. Just spread them out a little bit. And then same again, going in with your Mrs. Clear. Very, very wet and you only need a tiny, tiny amount. And what I do is I just paint it on like that and then pick up the wet brush and put the dots where you want them. Just like that. Wet bead again. Pick up the dots with your wet brush. I like to let that dry a little bit because if you go straight in with your clear acrylic over the top you will move the dots around so let that dry a little bit that's really pretty I love it Right, this nail's all prepped, ready to go. So we're just gonna go in with the prime bond again. Remembering not to touch that skin. Very, very spurring lit all over that nail. And then let that dry. So, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do a little thin layer of clear of acrylic on this nail. So when you come to infill the nail, you've got a layer of acrylic to file back to for you to do a new design. So I'm just all over that nail. And then just do a very, very thin layer of acrylic at the free edge. Nice and thin, we don't want it thick, it's just a base for you to put your glitters on. If you do it too thick, you're going to end up with a very, very thick nail. And we don't want that. Right, we're just going to let that set a little bit and then we're going to pinch that nail. Right, 
Right, as you can see, how thin I've done that. So now we're gonna go in with the new Editions Dot Ollie. I'm gonna use Grayson and Wesley. So first of all, we're gonna use Wesley. So this nail's gonna be, gonna do a full glitter design all over the nail. So what we do is, get rid of that bit of a dot, into Mrs. Monima, into Mrs. Clear, only a little amount, and dip into Wesley Glitter. And just place that at the cuticle, move it around to where you want it, almost like you're painting. And obviously it's still a bit wet there, so I can go in with my wet brush, dab it into the glitter and just pat it where I want the glitter to be. So same again, into Mrs. Clear, nice little bead, into Wesley, and then on the nail. Grayson into the Mrs. Clear again, into the pot of glitter. It's gonna pop a bit of that on the free edge. I'm quite happy with that. So now what I'm gonna do is go in with the dots. The only ones. The only ones. <laughs> so what I do is, so you're not wasting your glitter, just get a little bit on your cuticle pusher and just decant a few onto your kitchen towel. It just makes it easier to pick it up with your brush rather than putting your brush into the pot. So what I like to do is, really really thin Mrs. Clear and just pop that where I want the dots to go and then with my wet brush I pick them up and place them where I want them to go. I'm quite happy with that design. So I'm gonna encapsulate the whole of the nail now. So into Mrs. Clear, nice big bead. Place at that cuticle. Just 
let it sit for a minute, wipe your brush, and then with the belly of your brush, pat that acrylic down the middle. Making sure to cover all of that glitter. You'll know if it's covered because the glitter will turn matte. If it's still sparkly and shiny, it needs to be encapsulated. As you can see on the end here, it's still sparkly, so we need a little bit more clear on the end. Right, this nail's been prepped, we've buffed and we've dehydrated, fitted the form and we're now going in with Prime Bond. So very, very thinly, being careful not to touch that skin. All over the nail and let that dry. Right, now that Prime Bond's dried, we're going to reverse method sculpt this nail because we're going to do a tip. So I'm going in with Mrs. Natural. Bleed out the liquid for a little bit and then place on that nail. Just let it sit there for a minute, wipe your brush off. Going in with the cuticle bead now, so don't drain the liquid out of this one. Place that right at the cuticle, let it sit for a minute, and then pull down the nail. Now, just going to let that set, and when it's set, we're going to file that free edge. Well, file the smile line so it's nice and crisp. So when we put our glitter on, it'll be lovely and crisp, like I've just said. <laughs> yeah, that's set now. So I'm going in with a new file, 100-100, and we're just going to file, making sure to not press down on the nail, file up against it to perfect that smile line. Right, so we're going to do a, a glitter tip on here. So we're going to use the new dots, Leah, which is this lovely purple and blue and gold. And we're also going to use Blake, a nice blue glitter. So same again, just decant a few dots onto your kitchen roll. <gasps> They're so nice. <laughs> I like them. Right, so first we're going to go in with Blake. So into Mrs. Clear, nice bead, dip it into your blade glitter and just roll it around until that glitter mixes in and push up to that free edge, or up to that smile line. And where it's still wet, dip in to the glitter with your brush. Place it on the wet acrylic. Just like that. Just 
keep adding glitter where you think you need it. with your brush, just dip it into the glitter and tap it on so that wet acrylic. And when you're happy with your glitter, we're going to go in with a few of the dots now. So what I like to do is just put a bit of clear down there on the free edge, just wet that nail and with your wet brush just pick up a few of the dots and place them where you want them. Just let them dots settle a bit in the acrylic because if you go over the top of your clear while it's still, still wet you're just going to drag it all over your Mrs Natural that you've sculpted. So in with Mrs Clear and we're just going to encapsulate that free edge. Making sure to cap all of that glitter if you don't when you come to file it you will just file it off and ruin your design and also at this point when you come into encapsulate always think about the structure of that nail and the apex Still a little bit shiny there. I'm just going to go in with a little bit more clear. Just on the sides there. That one. Let me just check this side. A little bit more on this one. Let that dry, let it set, and then it's ready to file. Right, this nail's been prepped. So once that's sculpted, I'm just going to let it set for a little bit, and then we're going to go in and pinch that nail. So we're going to go into Mrs. Clear and pick up a bit of grace and glitter and I'm just going to apply it in this corner and drag it around. And just pat it out where you want that glitter to go. And then with your wet brush, you can just dip back into the glitter and place that on the wet acrylic. It's going to add maybe a little bit 
little bit more there. And then I'm going to go in when this is clear again. Right, so back into Mrs. Clear. Put a little bit of a wet layer there. And then with your wet brush, pick those dots up and just place them on the nail where you want them. So what I'm trying to do here, because you can still see the natural nail underneath because we have only just built a clear nail, I'm just trying to cover up that up with the dots. Keep adding more Mrs. Clear where you want them dots to go and place your dots on. And then on the other side, same again. A nice wet layer. And this is clear. Pick up your dots and just arrange them over the nail. Trying to cover up this natural nail here. Now you can see by looking at that nail, by doing such a thin sculpt, it is still really, really thin. So then when you come to encapsulate that nail, you can build the structure of it and the apex and it won't be too thick. Now that's dry, going in with Mrs. Clear. Nice big bead. And place it right at that cuticle. Just let it sit there a minute, wipe your brush off and then come in with your brush behind that bead, patting it out using the belly of your brush patting that bead down the nail So this nail's already been prepped, primed, and I've already done a nice thin layer of acrylic just for the base so we can pop our dots and glitter on. So I'm just going to go in with Blake so nice and thin with Mrs Clear Just, just paint it all over the nail. If you feel that you need to put more glitter on while the acrylic is still wet, you can dip your brush into the glitter and just pat it where you need it. And then you can actually, while it's still wet as well, go in with your dots then and just place them all over the nail. If you need to put more acrylic down, just do it very, very thinly. Right, now that's set, we're going to go in with Mrs. Clear and encapsulate the whole of that nail. So a nice big bead. Start at the cuticle. Remembering not to touch the skin. 
and then just pat that bead down that nail, making sure to encapsulate all of that glitter. You'll know it's been encapsulated because it will go dull. Just need a little bit more on that free edge where I can still see it shining. When you've done that, let it set and then that nail is ready for filing.